Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition and the new history of the Drow. Alright, so um, basically, if you have read R.A. Salvatore's books, and you read 3,000 plus pages uh, over no less than 9 to, you know, 9 plus books, maybe 12, 15, 18 books, depending on what you consider a Dritz book or not, right? then you don't really know the history of the drow, okay? Um, this this history was clarified by a new Dungeons & Dragons article by the, the, the D&D 5th edition team, and um, or at least it went through them, right? And it is canon, put, you know, public, this isn't like some, you know, something published on DMs Guild or something. This is canon D&D, right? So it came out on the web, on the official Wizards of the Coast website, and uh, so here's the new understanding of the drow. Um, and we're gonna to talk today about the Avon drow. So, the, so what we understand about the drow now is they were never one people. They were always three people. They were the Avon drow, the Lauren drow, and the Uda drow, okay? Today we're gonna to talk about the Avon drow. And so wh who are the Avon drow? drow? Well, they are, uh, they specifically were in the Underdark but they left and they rejected Loth. How did the Avon Drow reject Loth? Well, unlike the Loren Drow and unlike the Uden Drow, they had innate integrity. This is by far the most fascinating part of the Avon Drow. Unlike any other heritage in Dungeons and Dragons, unlike any other people in the in uh, Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, the Avon Drow have innate integrity. That's interesting. That's truly unique. I've never heard that before. Uh, I've heard, never heard of any heritage having innate integrity. Like, across their people, they have innate in integrity. And because of that, unlike the Uda Drow and unlike the Loren Drow, they were able to not be corrupted by Lolf. Very, very interesting. So who who are the Avon Drow? Let's continue that question. Well, they are the Starlight Elves, okay? And basically, when they saw that Lolf... Uh, was something they didn't want to follow. Well, they used their innate integrity to break off from Loth, leave uh, leave the Underdark, right? And they went north to Caliday. And today, they live in a glittering ice city called Caliday, all right? So that's the Avondrow. The Avondrow. It's A-E-V-E-N, uh, Drow. Avondrow, all one word. Okay. Now, what's really interesting is even though the Loren Drow lack in, in innate integrity the way Avon Drow have, and the way every single other Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition heritage lacks innate integrity, unlike the Avon Drow, who have innate integrity, right? Um, the Loren Drow still rejected uh, Loth. Now, this... Now, why is that a big deal? That's a re like the Avon Drow. That's a really big deal because Wizards of the Coast has told us the purpose of this new, uh, they put it right in there. I couldn't believe it. Like they just said it, you know, said it right out, right? The purpose of the Avon Drow and the Lauren Drow is so that we understand Dritz de Orden was never special. He was the majority of Drows. The majority of Drow reject Loth. Only a subset, only a small minority of drows actually follow and uh, revere Loth. Most drows, not down with Loth. They rejected her, right? So the reality is, just in case you thought Dritz de Orden was special, he's not. He's by, this is literally the words Wizards of Coast said, he's common, right? It is not uncommon for drows to reject Loth, okay? If you understand all of the drow, uh, by by the way, the by the way, Dritzdo Orden is common. He is not unusual for leaving for leaving the Underdark. In fact, most Drow left the Underdark. Only a small like subset remained with Loth. Right now, that subset who remained with Loth and live in the Underdark, they are now called Uda Drow. Okay, they've never been called that before. The term's never been used before 2021. But now we understand that if you read R.A. Salvatore's 3,000 plus pages on Drow, you don't really don't know the Drow's history at all, right? The real canon, canon history of the Drow 
is the Avon Drow, the Lauren Drow, and the Uda Drow, right? And that uh, basically, Dritsto Orden, now we understand him fully. He is an Uda Drow. He is not special in any way. He just did what the majority of his people did, which is reject Loth, right? When it comes to Drow, they're not down with Loth. Only a tiny subset of them are down with Loth, right? The majority of Drow reject Loth. And one, uh, and one third of the Drow, the Avon Drow, actually have an innate special ability that allowed them to not follow Loth. Now, that, is, that special ability is not just about following Loth. They have innate integrity. I cannot wait for innate integrity to be defined for us. It's probably going to be like, there's just going to be so many mechanical benefits to having innate integrity, right? I just, it's so hard. Like, I'll bet it's going to be like 50 different things, right? Innate integrity, that's pretty awesome. For, you know, for a distinct people to have innate integrity, whew, that's new. I've never seen that. I cannot wait to see innate integrity defined by Wizards of the Coast. It's going to be, I think it's going to be one of the most powerful uh, powers that any distinct people within uh, within Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition has ever had. I cannot wait to see it. So this is the new history of the Drow, right? Uh, the Drow were never one people. There were always three. The Avon Drow, the Lauren Drow, and the Uda Drow. And don't forget, the Avon Drow are the Starlight Elves who use their innate integrity to reject Loth, move to the north, and they now live in a glittering ice, uh, a glittering ice city called Caliday. That's the Avon Drow. What are your thoughts? What do you think of the new Avon Drow? I'm just fascinated by innate integrity. I think that's, boy, that's really fascinating that they would choose to make an entire people be have innate integrity. It's like inherently part of them as a people. That's fascinating. I, I'm not sure I would have made that decision, but I'm really fascinated that Wizards of the Coast did it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see, hearing more about innate integrity. Uh, all that's uh, my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful millennium.